Before beginning setup of your LiveArc system, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips in the owner's manual. Remember to follow all warning labels and wear appropriate safety gear during setup and system use. Be sure to register your Miller LiveArc system to receive important alerts for free software upgrades. The LiveArc Welding Performance Management System from Miller Electric. Developing, enhancing, and verifying welding skills for new students as well as experienced welders. The LiveArc system features advanced motion tracking technology that provides critical feedback to improve welding skills, providing better, faster, and more cost-effective results than traditional training methods. At the heart of the system, a powerful industrial computer features solid-state technology and filterless, fanless cooling. The Smart Gun is an industry-exclusive 400-amp MIG gun with LEDs that are tracked by the system's cameras. The gun handle provides <laughs> vibration <laughs> feedback, helping guide real-time performance adjustments. The touchscreen interface is easy to use, even with gloved hands. A protective cover disables welding when opened. The pre-weld simulation mode saves money for supplies, such as weld coupons, gas and wire, and provides baseline technique training for live arc welding. To uncrate the live arc system, start by unscrewing the top panel of the crate. Unscrew and remove the side panels. Remove the large box that contains the upright portion of the system. Remove the packaging banding from the system table. Set aside the accessory box. Using a forklift, remove the live arc table frame out of the notches in the pallet. Locate the 3 8 by 1 and 1 half inch hex bolts with nuts and lock washers. Remove the display from the box. With two people, place the live arc display on top of the table, aligning the slots and holes. Fasten the display to the table using the hex bolts, lock washers, and nuts. Cut and remove the cable ties from the display handle and from the casters. Lift the device onto the casters by turning the bolt at the top of each caster. Roll the live arc into position and raise the casters to the system rests on the leveling feet. Use the adjustable feet to level the table. Attach the quick release clamps to the table. There's a holder on the front of the station for the joint calibration tool. Connect the work clamp from the power source to the connection plate on the welding table. Install the smart gun power pin and thread the wire. Connect the trigger plug to the feeder. And connect the smart gun power cable to the plug on the gun. Connect the other end of the smart gun power cable to the receptacle on back of the live arc monitor. If you wish to connect the live arc system to an external monitor, use the HDMI receptacle. This lets instructors and others view live arc welding performance in real time. You may also choose to use the USB receptacle to connect a mouse and keyboard for saving test results, performing backups, and installing software updates. Plug the power cord into a 120 volt, 15 amp grounded receptacle and power on the monitor by placing the input power switch on the back of the monitor in the on position, then pressing and holding the on off switch on front of the monitor for about one second. To create a new account, touch register here and enter the requested information. Touch register to save the information and be automatically logged in. The first time a student uses the LiveArc system and selects an assignment, a help screen presents additional information about use of the smart gun. Follow the on-screen instructions. Students who are already registered get started with the LiveArc system by touching the username field to access the keyboard. Select the desired assignment from the on-screen list. Note the corresponding weld process, joint type, and position. Select Filters to narrow your search for specific assignments. Select an assignment by touching the Assignment row. 
Review the WPS and set up welding equipment accordingly. Then touch Next. Close the touch screen cover to enable the table calibration process. If any of the table markers are obstructed, the monitor will indicate which marker to uncover. To tack weld the coupons, press and hold the weld button on the gun for about two seconds. Tack the coupons, and then touch Done on the gun. Clamp the workpiece to the work table using both clamps. At the beginning of each weld assignment, you will be asked to use the calibration tool to establish set points. This lets the LiveArc cameras know the precise location of the joint. Place the tip of the calibration tool at one end of the weld joint, making sure to avoid the tack points. Press down on the tool until the spring is fully compressed. Hold it down for at least one second. Repeat at the other end of the weld joint. The system will confirm that the workpiece is now calibrated. The help screen can be recalled at any time by pushing the help button. The help screen provides details on how the gun functions prior to the test. Move the gun near the joint to view the visual guides on the smart gun. These indicate proper gun positioning. Press the guide button to select the parameter for real-time vibration feedback. To exit the help screen, tap the trigger on the smart gun. Follow the on-screen instructions to perform a simulation test. Move the gun to the joint. Visual guides on the gun's display assist with the proper gun positioning prior to the test. Pull the trigger and move the gun along the entire length of the weld joint in the correct orientation and speed as specified. The smart gun provides real-time vibration feedback as you move it along the joint. Release the trigger and check your score. The touch screen displays graphs and scores for the simulated weld. Examine your scores in the individual categories, including work angle, travel angle, contact tip to work distance, travel speed and aim to determine areas for improvement. Touch retest on the gun to perform another simulated test. Use the touch screen, save your test results to a USB drive or view history and prior test results. Choose a different assignment or log out. To perform an actual live welding assignment, start by verifying that the work clamp is properly connected to the table. Press and hold the mode button on the smart gun about two seconds until the system enters weld mode. With the smart gun more than three inches from the weld joint and the smart gun LEDs in view of the camera, pull the trigger to jog wire cut the wire to an appropriate length for welding. A warning message will appear on the touch screen when the smart gun nears the weld joint. To begin welding, pull the trigger. For Miller assignments, the weld needs to be at least four inches long to qualify as a completed test, and the student will need to achieve a score of 90 or more on three out of five weld tests to complete the assignment. Each weld test is assigned a unique serial number, when written on the workpiece, the serial number can be used to associate the test results with the physical weld sample. Test history can be viewed by touching the history icon. Blue bars represent simulation tests and orange bars represent weld tests. Each bar can be selected to recall the associated test results. Users who are designated as instructors can access administration options. To log in as the default instructor, use Username Admin and Password Admin. Touch Assignment Management to begin. From the Assignment Management screen, you can create new assignments, copy assignments, and select which assignments are displayed. To create an entirely new assignment, touch Create New Assignment and enter all required parameters and values. New assignments can be tailored to meet the specific training needs of the students by modifying any or all of these parameters. 
Assignments can be easily transferred between LiveArc systems or between an instructor computer and a LiveArc system. To import assignments from a USB drive, plug in the USB drive and select Import Assignments. To export assignments to a USB drive, select the desired assignments and touch Export Assignments. To use an existing assignment as a template for a new assignment, find an existing assignment similar to the one you wish to create and touch Copy. Touch the Assignment Name text field to open the on-screen keyboard and change the name of the new assignment. A double tap selects the entire field. Go through each parameter category and complete the required fields. Welding and torch technique parameters are set in the Welding Procedures section using the numeric keypad. After all required parameters are entered, touch Save and Exit or Save and Test to begin testing that assignment. Select Change Order to change the order of the assignments list. Touch User Management to begin. User management records are password protected and can only be accessed by the user and by instructors. The user management screen is where you add users, view current users, edit user information, and delete users. You can also review a student's test result history for each assignment. After creating a new instructor account and logging in as that new instructor, consider changing or deleting the default admin admin user profile. There's also an option to search for weld serial numbers to recall the associated test results. CSV report files can be exported, which can be used to create your own charts and graphs of student progress. Several additional system administration functions are available to instructors. These include LiveArc settings, software updates, data backup and restoration, gun calibration, joint calibration tool, and table calibration. Here's a handy tip for instructors. Download the LiveArc system software to your own computer. This lets you create assignments, manage the user database, and view test history at your desk. Transfer data back and forth using the Backup Restore function or simply by importing and exporting assignments. To troubleshoot your LiveArc system, see the Owner's Manual for a list of troubleshooting issues and their remedies. For additional information on setting up the LiveArc Welding Performance Management System, see your Owner's Manual or contact Miller Electric.